Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Find the principal values of the following. If you observe sin inverse of 1 by root 2, it looks like sin inverse x. Principal value of sin inverse x lies in closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. Sin inverse of 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 we can write like this. The value of sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 and the value of sin 3 pi by 4 is also 1 by root. So which one we need to choose? Like this we can write few more. Which one we need to choose? You have to choose the value of theta which lies in closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. See pi by 4 belongs to this interval? Yes. 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4 means 135 degrees. 135 degrees lies in closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2? No. So we choose this sine pi by 4. So in place of 1 by root 2, you write sine pi by 4. Okay. Now you observe it looks like sine inverse of sine theta. What is the formula of sine inverse of sine theta? Sine inverse of sine theta equals to theta holds good only when theta belongs to closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. You observe this result. This pi by 4, this pi by 4 belongs to closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2? Yes. So, sine inverse of sine pi by 4, we can write it as pi by 4. So, principal value of sine inverse 1 by root 2 is pi by 4. Similarly, we will calculate principal value of cos inverse of root 3 by 2. Observe this expression. This expression looks like cos inverse x. We learn that principal value of cos inverse x lies in closed interval 0 comma pi. From trigonometry, we learn that root 3 by 2, we can write it as cos 30 degrees. Cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 and cos 300 degrees value is also root 3 by 2. Which one we need to choose? We can write like this so many. Which one we need to choose? You observe this pi by 6 is there in closed interval 0 comma pi? Yes. 300 degrees is there in closed interval 0 comma pi? No. So which one we choose? We choose cos pi by 6. So in place of root 3 by 2, you write cos pi by 6. Now you look this expression cos inverse of cos pi by 6. It looks like cos inverse of cos theta. We know this formula. We know this formula. Cos inverse of cos theta equals to theta. This formula holds good when theta belongs to closed interval 0 comma pi. So cos inverse of cos pi by 6, you can write pi by 6. So principal value of cos inverse of root 3 by 2 is pi by 6. We need to find principal value of cosecant inverse of 2. There is a simple procedure to do this. We know this formula from the properties of inverse trigonometric functions. Cosecant inverse x equals to sin inverse of 1 by x. Here cosecant inverse of 2 can be written as sin inverse of 1 by 2. So this 1 by 2 you can write it as sin 30 degrees. Sin 30 degrees means sin pi by 6. Sin pi by 6 value is 1 by 2. Now you observe it looks like sin inverse of sin theta. You see this formula. Sin inverse of sin theta equals to theta when theta belongs to closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So sin inverse of sin pi by 6 is pi by 6. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.